Hello everyone! This is Mike Bird Helps. And yesterday I came home and my brother was freaking out because he actually got a quad chem strike, um, as you can see in the title. So that was pretty cool. And he was actually playing solo. And um, apparently he, he got into a lobby with, with a bunch of scrubs. And um, obviously you're not going to drop multiple chem strikes on a bunch of tryhards. You might get maybe one chem strike, maybe, um, maybe. But uh, this was literally the, the perfect storm to get this gameplay. And um, even his teammates knew exactly what to do, and, and they, were, they were complete randoms. And, uh, you know, they obviously weren't, um, weren't, weren't in a party with him. But they knew not to take too many flags at the beginning to, to make the game last even longer. And, and that's what they did. Um, they knew to, to keep everybody at C flag, the, the, uh, the opponent at the C flag, and that's what, and that's what they did. And the, the, the best thing about this gameplay, in my opinion, is, is the awesome comeback in the end. Um, I can't remember the score, but I, I, think the, I think they were down by maybe 40 or 50 points, and, uh, and they actually ended up coming back to win the game. Um, even on noobs, it's, it's not that easy to win when you're down that big that late in the game. I think they were down maybe like 150 something to maybe 120 or 160 to 120, something like that. Um, but I guess I'll talk about the class setup too. So um, D-Bag is obviously using the AK-12 with silencer and extended mags um, with no secondary, no lethal, no tactical. You don't need any of that stuff with uh, Stalker, Amplify, Focus, Fully Loaded, and Ping. Um, using the Specialist loadout, uh, the, the Specialist perks are Deadeye, um, Off the Grid, Quick Draw, Ready Up, Take Down, Sleight of Hand, ICU, and Hardline. And um, what's interesting about, uh, about this game is that um, the sound horn is almost exactly like Modern Warfare 3. You can hear somebody, you know, um, you can hear somebody when they spawn in. It's, it's, um, I like it. I don't know. A lot of people don't like it, but I like it. Um, and, and the AK-12 is probably the most well-rounded weapon in this game. Um, it's got a little flinch, good damage, good mobility, and uh, so on and so forth. But I don't like to use it that much because I love the FAD. Um, but I'll talk about that later. But um, anyways, uh, so I guess that's all I have to talk about with the gameplay. And I actually was thinking about, uh, strongly thinking about playing some music so you wouldn't have to hear my voice for about 10 minutes. I, I might actually just slap on some um, some music for the last couple minutes. But I do think, you know, I do think some people do enjoy commentaries, even if they're not that great. So I'm just going to talk about a few random things in my life because um, I guess I don't really have too much else to talk about. Um, so the the uh, first thing I'll talk about is uh, is why I, I went away for so long, like why I went away from YouTube for so long and, and why I'm back. So most people watching this video um, don't know what exactly goes into each video. And it's not, it's not just this video, but every video. You know, you, you um, it, uh, it, it's, not, it's not that much, but you know, you know what I mean. It, it's like when you sit down to um, eat your dinner every night. Um, your, your mom or, or your dad or your girlfriend or like your sister or whoever whoever made your, your dinner probably worked pretty hard on that dinner but when it's presented to you on your on your plate um, you know when they throw your um, throw the plate down and it's got like you know it's got like a piece of chicken on there with some I don't know like mashed potatoes and green beans you know it, it, it looks it looks decent it looks like you know it looks it looks edible um, but you know you didn't know that she like hand picked the, you know, <laughs> or that she like killed the chicken, um, like with her own hands. See, you don't know everything that like that goes into, you know, that goes into um, making that plate. But like when it's presented to you on your plate and you just scarf it down within like five minutes of her giving it to you, um, you obviously don't think about how much she worked on or how much he or she worked on uh, making that dinner. And, and it's kind of this the same way. With YouTube, um, you look at the video in the sub box. You sit down for five minutes watching the video, thinking like this is a terrible video. Um, you know, I'm gonna dislike it because it because it blows. But um, little do you know that you know that that YouTuber played who knows how many hours um, to to get that single gameplay. Um, even if it may not be the most amazing gameplay, and and they had to redo the commentary ten times just so they can you know cut out all the. I don't know all the bad parts, or they can get it right eventually. Um, 
and, and they just did all that just to make a one single five minute video um, and obviously you know I, I am exaggerating just a little bit but I just wanted you guys to know that it's not it's not easy as it seems it's, it's not easy as it's not as easy as it is for you to just watch the video um, so um, for one I wanted to focus more on school the hardest part of my classes in college are pretty much over with and I've already taken probably the, the hardest classes that I that I will take in college and I only have just a couple especially hard classes left before I before I graduate college which will be pretty awesome um, also I I got a job uh, that I since have quit because that job was the worst job ever and um, I mean that job really blowed um, but uh, you know if you want to be motivated to do well in school you should get a job that really blows and trust me you will want to do better in school so obviously not working freed up my schedule pretty well you know after I quit that job um, the only thing that that will throw a wrench into um, into our YouTube schedule or, or my YouTube schedule is is the fact that every Saturday I'll be doing something from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. which um, which blows 8 a.m. to 5 5 p.m. that's like it's like a job right there that's nine hours um, it's not a job or anything but uh, but sometimes you know you have to make sacrifices to um, you know to to uh, I guess have a better life I guess right um, so uh, so that's pretty much why I've been gone um, I've basically just been really busy and YouTube seemed like seemed like work that I didn't that I didn't really need. Um, it's fun though, you know. Don't get me wrong, it, but you know, fun things can be work, right? Um, it's like uh, it's like if you've worked all day and uh, you've been in class all day, are you really going to want to do more work? Um, it, it doesn't have to be YouTube, uh, but but just anything really, like uh, like playing basketball or I don't know, um, watching a movie or you know, you have to go go to the theaters buy your tickets get some popcorn it's just it, it's just like even though it's fun and that you, you like to do it it can still seem like work um, and uh, but now I'm so busy I'm not so busy but I'm still kind of busy so so n now I'm back um, uh, also it blows that you, that you have to record live that's the one thing that I'm pissed about in Call of Duty Ghost um, like so you're telling me I, I have to record every single game and just hope and pray to the gods that 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 I do well in, in that game, um, which um, which brings me to my next point um, of uh, of what I think about Call of Duty Ghosts um, in general. And I'll probably make a more in-depth video, but uh, but I will say this: um, like, why are we so why, why are we so dumb that we poop on the the new Call of Duty every year and we say the old one was great? Um, I don't I don't really get it. Ghost. Call of Duty Ghost is a solid game. Is it my favorite Call of Duty? No, but that that doesn't make it a bad game. I'm sure it has it has some annoying parts of the game, but um, I actually think Modern Warfare 3 is the greatest Call of Duty of all time. But um, let's face it, you know that game annoyed the hell out of me <laughs> a lot um, with like uh, Dead Man's Hand, Last Stand, Marty Dom, um, uh, Kimbo FMG9s, all the shotguns, etc., uh, etc. Et but um, you know, I don't get. I don't get how a lot of people say COD Four is is the, the the greatest Call of Duty of all time. I mean, it's so it was so basic and simple. I guess because I don't know, and, and the the kill streaks. Anyway, anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent. But um, everyone hated Black Ops Black Ops Two at first, but then everyone came around. Everybody started playing League Play, and um, I actually think that uh, that that this is a good game at times. I I really do think Ghost is a good game at times. And at other times, I think this game blows, but that's what makes a game good, um, if that makes any sense. You know, if you got a chem strike every sing every single game that you played, what's what's the point to even play? Um, you know, if you fail a couple off, then you fail again one off, and then, then you fail one off again, um, it's going to be really gratifying when you actually pull off the chem strike, or the double, or the triple, or the, or the quad, or the pinta, or whatever. Um, but what I'm saying is that you just need to give it a chance. You know, play with your friends. Play the game modes that you like, whether it's infected or whatever, cranked, whatever, blitz, um, and it will come around. Just trust me. Um, also, look out for a video maybe later tonight. I, I may have an FAD class set up if I feel like making it. Um, also, this game features a great comeback. Uh, I, I'm not looking at the gameplay right now, so it's probably almost over. 
Um, so yeah, I actually think I'm running out of time, but um, I'll probably have an FAD class set up later if I feel like making it um, because I love the FAD. Um, so I really thought that there would be no way to win when I first saw this game, but uh, but yeah, somehow pulled it out. And I don't know how many kills this is because the game doesn't show more than 99 kills in the scoreboard. So I'll just say it's over 120 with the four Kim strikes, 96 kills, and um, I, I think to get the four Kim strikes. So I, I, I think that's all I have time for. So if you would, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace. Securing C. Defend your positions. inbound nice work team well done